Alrighty, nobody's in here yet, but that's fine. I didn't really announce anything, so I don't know if anybody's going to come or not. We'll have to see. Um, I've done this now uh, twice, uh, once with red, uh, last night with green, but it went kind of wonky last night. Apparently my stream was having issues and uh, it ended up getting cut off and yeah, generally just problems. So hopefully tonight we will not have any issues and I will endeavor to get good um, video. And we will see. This time we're going to do blue. We've already done a few others. For blues, we've got uh, mostly pro curls. We're going, this is based like a dark purple. Hey, we got a couple of people that dropped in. Uh, we got, uh, this is based in like a dark purple. Um, that's the only thing I've done ahead of time. I just want to make sure I've got a good base coat on, have a good time to dry. Um, so these are the colors that we're using. Blue, sky blue, faded ultramarine. Uh, blue one by war colors and um, Then we'll tap it off with some uh, Mimnoth white highlight. I really like this as a, as a highlight. I'm gonna focus on those just real quick for you guys See if I can't adjust. Oh, there we go. Look So those are our colors here Yay. We're gonna be doing this. I've just been stripping this and redoing it. I'm thinking about possibly trying to challenge myself to paint like this entire dragon in like three hours. I'm gonna have to assemble it first and see if that's something you guys would like, let me know. You know, would you like to see like a, like a full dragon in three hours or something like that? At a, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully at a decent quality level. That's the goal at least, you know. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get started. It's gonna be the exact same process if you happen to watch last night. Um, this is a Reaper Dragon Dance with Death. This is just the body. Like I said, this is just test piece. I'm just trying to show people how to do some scales easily, um, how to use these makeup brushes, um, that dry brushing doesn't have to suck, things like that. Um, we've got, uh, we're gonna be using two different dry brushes. You can see this got stained a little bit with our green last night. Um, the, these are both e.l.f. brushes. They're like $2 at Walmart. They used to be $1, now they're 2 I was complaining to somebody that they doubled in price, and they're like, it's a dollar deal. I was like, I know, but, you know, it doubled. Um, this is the eye crease brush. This is the concealer brush. The reason we use these is they are, look, they're like super soft, and they're basically made for blending surfaces. So, yeah. We're gonna go through and just basically work up lighter and lighter shades. Um, the goal is to cover a little less every time. It's like dry brushing, layering kind of madness. And um, and the trick is that we do not clean out our brush and water between because we want some of the blending to be kind of happening in the brush. Plus, if we get water in the brush, it will make dry brushing basically impossible. So we're just going to start, and we're just going to start at our darkest color and work up. When we start with this dark one, we, um, we're not going to get as much paint off as we will in laters. That's another one of the tricks here is that the... Oh, I got paint on that somehow. That's weird. Um, is that the lighter you go, the less paint you're going to want. So, um, yeah, we're just going to start. And the goal here is a light touch. You can see we're covering most of the area here. Okay. We're going to use this whole process to kind of um, define the volumes as well. So by volumes, I mean we've got this big kind of rounded hump here, these spines over here. Um, since I'm teaching a little bit, this might go a little longer than... 15 minutes, but it's not going to be much longer. Last night we did it in 13, which frankly was awesome. So you can see right here, I'm not being real careful, okay? The goal here is to get this mostly covered, but you can see we've managed to leave a little bit in the crevices. This brush is naturally not going to want to go down into that crevice. Now we're going to take this blue, and we're going to mix it a little bit in this. And we're doing this all on a paper towel. Somebody's got to be like, that's weird. And yeah, it is a little weird. But it works. I don't know. Go figure. All right. And 
we're going against the scales here. We're still mostly doing all over at this point. Um, blue is probably going to be a little harder than the other colors, I'm guessing. Because blue, as it gets lighter, ends up with a lot of white in it. And that makes things hard. Okay, I'm just working my way up here. I haven't really been focusing too much on the volumes yet. As we get in some lighter colors, that'll happen. I'm starting to not quite go everywhere now, though. And then as we move into this one, this is where we're really going to... Um, you can see I'm mixing that a little bit in this other color. This is where we're going to be... Um, start to be a little more selective about what we do. Okay, so we're not going to put this quite everywhere. It's going to be most places, but not quite everywhere. You want to get most of the paint off your brush here. If we've got too much, um, it's just going to make things more difficult. Hey, how you doing? Um, you got a pretty light touch here. You don't want to go nuts. And again, we're going against the grain here, right? And like I said, we're going to be doing most of the places, but I'm not going to concentrate too much on like under here because we're not wanting that to be too bright. So you can see that immediately already looks pretty cool. Like we haven't even gone. Right. Now what we're going to do is we should have some leftover paint here on the brush and we want this middle part to be a little brighter. So we're going to go with it a little bit here and just kind of lighten up a few of these middle places where we're going to want it brighter. Shouldn't be drastic here. We're just trying to do this to a few of these places that we know we're going to go brighter. All right. And that's it. Come on, right? Like it's like kabam. All right. So at this point now we want more control. Um, I really don't want to uh, use this brush anymore. I'm going to drop this in some alcohol, some isopropyl alcohol and switch to a smaller dry brush that I've got a lot more control with. The other advantage is this no longer has all those darker colors in it. So it's going to be a heck of a lot lighter. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this as a little bit of faded ultramarine. I'm not really sure about this blue palette. Um, I don't know how it's going to end up working out. We're just, all of these are just playing around. Like none of this is super serious here. Um, this is where we really want to make sure that we're going against the grain. I don't know if this is going to show up real. Yeah, it, it does. I think. Okay, let's go. I'm going to get a little more here. And this is where we, we, what we don't want to do is like get down in this crevice or under the belly or whatever. We're trying to, to at this point, really focus on creating some of the volumes by letting the lighter portions be lighter. I'm not a big fan of this ultramarine in this. It's not really doing much. It's a little okay. At some point I should like, you know, test the things I do for you guys before I actually do them, huh? Half the time I'm just like running with it and hoping that it works out. Do, 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 do. But that's the cool thing about painting, guys, is that, you know, it's fun. All right, I'm going to go a little bit with the grain here and just kind of lighten up this section right here. But I'm, it's more of a stabbing motion. Okay, and again, I'm just I'm basically just blending out the parts on the high point. All right, so you can see we've got a nice blend. Everything's going well. What we need to do, though, is we need to go brighter still. So we're going to take this is war colors. War colors tend to be um, more transparent than other colors. So I like them as we move higher into uh, the value. So as things get brighter, um, going to something that's a little more transparent can help um, because it'll blend better. When we add a lot of white to something, um, it tends to, to become very opaque. So what I'm hoping now is that this, yeah, this is good. Not loving this as much as the red or the green. 
but it's working. You see, we're just building this up. It's like really nothing fancy. The worst thing you can do when doing these kind of dry brush techniques is to have too much paint on your brush. Better too little and to come back and make another pass than too much because if you've got too much, you're just instantly going to ruin it. You're gonna plop that paint down and it's just gonna be like, oh, that sucks. So I asked this earlier, but for people that are just showing up, all right, we're gonna come just a little bit this way just to lighten this up. Because this, we want kind of this area as the high point here. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix a little. So I asked this earlier. Um, I'm tempted, let me shake this up a little bit. I'm tempted to do like a, a three hour dragon challenge and like see if it's possible for me to paint like one of these dances of deaths in reasonable time in three hours. Is there any interest in that? Like drop me a line either on here or on my page or something. If that's something you guys wanna see. Why is that moving so much all of a sudden? Weird. Um, all right, so at this point, we should have a much lighter color on here. And hopefully this will pick up. Yeah. So you can see it's really, now we've got to go both directions this way and this way to pick up the scales correctly. I don't think I did that last night. I was looking at photos afterwards. I think I missed one direction of passes and it was bothering me a lot. I was looking at that green dragon. The scales just didn't pop as well. So you can see all I'm doing is I'm just coming down. Alrighty, there we go. Alrighty. Well, all right, cool. A little bit down here. Let's have this edge caught right here, just to add a little bit of interest. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go straight to this, and this is gonna be our last highlight. Then we're gonna do some black lining. And then if I decide that I want to, we'll throw in a little bit of wash or glaze or something. All right. Okay, this is just straight Mimnoth White Highlight. And all we're going to do is catch, again, you do not want to do this everywhere. Like, this should just be bright points. We're just running it along this ridge. We want, there we go. Look at that. We're looking like an ice dragon, aren't we? All right, and we need to come like that. We need to come. Yep. All right, guys. All right. I'm relatively happy with that as far as colors goes. You know, I was wanting a light blue kind of white dragon. So I'm happy with that. Now, what we've got to do, I'm going to drop this brush in iso alcohol, which is like a 90 proof, 90 something proof um, alcohol. And we're just going to clean it. Alrighty. This is just black ink. This is the hardest part for me to do on camera because it's the only part where you have to be kind of precise, but it makes a pretty big difference. Okay. I may, I'm going to try to do this on camera here. Trying to see where I'm at and be in focus here. All right, let's just start off. We're just gonna run. This is a Raphael 8404 brush. Make sure I'm in the camera still, yeah. And all I'm doing is just creating a black line on the tiles so that it gives them clear, distinct separation. 
without it, what happens is stuff tends to merge too much and we don't really want that. But you can see this is not taking terribly long here. But the effect is worth it. You don't really need to do some of these uh, bottom ones unless, you know, this is a showpiece or you just really um, feel the need to go all out. What you really want is these ones where there's a, where it's super bright, it's really going to make an arc for So I got a little bit where I didn't want to, so I'm just going to feather that out with a little bit of water. Then I can come back later when that dries and decide if I want to do more. But it's not a giant black mark at least. Okay. Um... Looking at this now. I'm going to come back in and do some of this direction. I think I did it again. That's okay. <laughs> like I said, all this is doing is adding clear separation here. It's just telling the viewer where the, the scales start and stop. A few of these I got too heavy on. We're going to see if we can't feather them out a little bit. Not a big deal though. Time to do a purple. This is my last one for a while. But speaking of purple, I think I am going to take some purple wash. I really like doing just a glaze of purple wash down on the shadows. So we're just going to add a little bit of purple wash right there. And all we're going to do is we're just going to throw this not all over, but just along some of the scales here. In fact, I wouldn't have done the blue one if um, the video last night had not messed up. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Like, I did the whole thing, and then um, it um, exported, and I realized it was 12 minutes instead of, like, 15 minutes. And I was like, really? Like, seriously? So, all we're doing here... I don't think this is my favorite one. I mean, it's good, but it's not. I think the red one is still my favorite one. Same process for all of them, though, guys. It's just successive dry brushing and, you know, paying attention to things. And then going back afterwards and making sure that things are kind of outlined as needed. Okay. Alrighty. Now, uh, exactly where that one quit, right? All right. So at this point, it's done. Like, I, I'm not going to do anything else for this. If if this was a competition piece or a high level commission, you know, I'd probably do something else. But honestly, if like this was on my table, I'd be perfectly happy with it. Like, I yeah. And literally, this was I think from the time I started talking till now, we're at 21 and I sat here for at least three or four minutes beforehand. So I don't know, it's gotta be close to 15. And that was including me taking some time to explain some things and reposition myself. So anyways, there we go, guys. Um, that's it. And yeah, if you have any questions before we go, questions, comments, nope.
Alrighty, people. Thanks for stopping in. This will be up on YouTube and, and such as well. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.